It is a corner chat. Let's talk business with Mr. Daniel Steinman. A warm welcome to our listeners, and of course, a warm welcome to Mr. Daniel Steinman. Thank you, Elsa. We are officially in summer. I should say. It feels like it. No, it is. For me, it is. It's summer. I feel like I'm already in December. It's only spring. But I know. But unfortunately, we have to deal with climate change and global warming and all that. So we're already dealing with summer. Well, Elsabi, we must only be concerned about when the rain comes, and I think that it's very close. Very close. Yes. Even like now, as the weather is right now, there's well, a possibility. You, you know, if you leave you your house know. eight o'clock in the morning and and the little rivulets of sweat mm. goes down the side of your <laughs> face, then you know the the rain is the close. The rain is close. Yeah. Yes. But you good? I'm very good. You good? Yeah. You 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 uh, went through. You read something yesterday. Uh, that you say that was of no surprise. That's very true, mm. and I'm referring to the report that they put out or the statement that they release after conclusion of the Article Four consultations between the Ministry of Finance and the International Monetary Fund (IMF). Mm. Yeah, and um, you know, it was like I could have written it. You know? mm. It was written by the Chief of Mission of the IMF in in Namibia. Um, and it covers all the bases. It, mm. it looks at all the things, but there's nothing new in there. The, what they what they said in there is what you and I have been talking about talking. for the last mm. year. Mm. You know, so it's a it's an overview. It's a it's a macroeconomic overview, a bird's eye view of current conditions, mm. and as they have developed over the past year. Um, but they say what we know. They say the the growth. They they. St- you can see from the statistics that they cite, it comes from the Namibia Statistics Agency, it's mm-hmm. not their own stuff, and um, they acknowledge or they also repeat the growth of last year, 4.6%, and they they um, confirm or they agree the growth for 2023, 3.2%, and you know I've explained that in the past, yeah, that um, yeah. high base, low mm. base, yeah. this, is, this is what comes into it. So 3.2% is a respectable growth, and they know it. Mm. What you get from from the whole statement is that there's, there's not much, there are no many problems in, in Namibia. Mm. If, you, if you compare us to to the vast majority of the countries in sub-Sahara Africa, we are like the shining diamond. Mm. And they, they also they confirm the, the growth that we expect is going to come from from um, mining, yeah. uh, what, mm. what you and I have spoken, spoken about, about, you know, in length, mm. at length, in detail. <laughs> um, they, they also mention green hydrogen, but mm. they obviously not as as enamored by the whole concept as as some other people in our country, mm. but they acknowledge it. They mention the oil discoveries, mm. so um, they don't go into into detail regarding the minerals that will be mined uh, onshore or um, on land. Mm. But they, I mean, for instance, I, you and I have discussions in we've, we've in much more mm. detail yeah. re- regarding where exactly in the mining sector will the the growth come from. But they they, they confirm that they mm. say yeah yeah, it it's mostly from it. They also mention that there's a rebound in in tourism. I personally think at this stage it's a bit of a difficult call to make because the only data that we've got available in tourism is so called high frequency short term data mm. you know and this is uh, hotel occupation and um, arrivals at Usia Kutaku and arrivals at, at um, border posts and it doesn't really give a good picture we will only start getting a reliable tourism picture um, towards May June next year mm after conclusion of the of the high season currently and of course the the Christmas season yeah, yeah. Uh, in Namibia but it's good that the IMF mentioned this because it means that they've also taken note of it they they also they see exactly as we do where the growth will be mm. they agree with our analysis um, it's like we're talking out of one mouth mm. um, 
I wouldn't say that it was funny, but it was, certainly was amusing. The the things that they worry about are what you you and I often discuss here: unemployment. Yeah. Although they use a figure of twenty one percent, which uh, you know, if the higher up you go in the age brackets, the more uh, the those unemployed. The older people that are unemployed, they tend to distort the picture. Yeah, yeah. Because they they bring the average down. Mm. So it's not, in my view, 21 percent is not representative. Yeah. Because many of the older people they couldn't bother about finding work anymore. Yeah. Um, I go for that 34 percent amongst the young people. Mm. That that horrendous statistic. Mm. Uh, but they let's give them. Uh, Let's acknowledge the fact that they take note mm. of the impact of unemployment in, in Namibia. Namibia. Or we may or may not agree with the statistic or the way that they calculate the averages, and it's um, it's so striking that they list all the issues. They, the, when I said in the beginning a bird's eye view, mm. it's really just an overview. So, so they list all the issues, but they. They don't offer any solutions because it's not the job of the IMF to yeah. to offer solutions. Mm-hmm. They they don't tell you how to run your economy. Yeah. They warn you of potential trouble spots. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's the reason why they they come to to Namibia every year. Um, Article four consultations are conducted on an annual basis between the IMF team and the ministries of finance of all countries that are members of the IMF mm. and it's something like 195 mm. so you can see that they um, but <coughs> you have to you have to understand how it works for instance the United States and Germany and Australia they are all IMF members yeah. because they are uh, remember the IMF is part of the Bretton Woods structure yeah. the 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 mechanisms that were set up after the Second World War to prevent a 1934-style depression, yeah. to prevent a world war that originated from that economic depression. Mm. You know, so all the big, all the G7 countries, they are all members of the IMF. Mm. But it's it's unimaginable to think that the United States will go to the IMF for assistance. Mm. <laughs> they won't. Like the the rest of the G7, they are the funding countries of the IMF. Yeah, the are. people that go to the IMF for assistance, um, they are us. Mm. You know, so the it's very important to understand why the IMF is there, mm. because then when you look at the Article Four consultation for all the countries as a whole, but for Namibia specifically, then it starts making sense. What is our relationship with the IMF? Oh, okay. Okay, but on that note, uh, Mr. Daniel Stamann, can we quickly go for a short break and once we return, we continue this talk. Mm-hmm.